This instructional video covers technical practices and procedures for using a fixed, non-adjustable single-channel pipetter with no overfill level. Using correct pipetting technique is necessary to get accurate results with Neogen's various tests. If, after watching this video, you have unanswered questions, please contact your Neogen representative. Pipetters are instruments commonly used with Neogen's kits to draw up and dispense very small volumes of liquid. The most common pipetter used is the 100 microliter pipetter, although others are needed at times. This symbol refers to a microliter, which is one one thousandth of a milliliter. Because the volumes are so small, correct pipetting is essential to performing Neogen's tests correctly. These pipetters only draw up 100 microliters when the plunger is depressed, and the pipetter setting cannot be modified to draw up a different volume. There are two brands of pipetters covered in this video, MLA and Micropipette. We also have instructional videos for pipetters that can draw up two different volumes, depending on how far down the plunger is depressed, pipetters where the volume setting can be adjusted, and multi-channel pipetters that can draw up multiple channels at a time. It is a good idea to wear gloves and other personal protection equipment for the other steps in accordance with your company policy. Before using a pipetter, it is critical to ensure the correct pipetter is selected. The volume a pipetter can draw and dispense is normally engraved or labeled on the outside of the pipetter. For instance, MLA pipetters will typically have the volume such as 100 or 500 and MLA engraved. Also, many pipetters come in different colors and the color corresponds with different volumes. Once the correct pipetter is selected, the pipetter should be evaluated to ensure it should be used. If the pipetter has any missing parts or hanging or damaged parts, it should not be used. If a calibration program is in place, and if the pipetter is out of calibration, it should be calibrated before using. Pipetters should also be clean on the outside, and the nozzle should fit snugly into the barrel of the pipetter. If the nozzle is not snug, tighten by turning the nozzle into the pipetter until it can no longer be tightened. Attaching tips. Once the correct pipetter is selected and functionality is verified, the pipetter is ready for use. The first step is to attach plastic tips to the end of the pipetter. Neogen recommends using plastic tip boxes where tips are placed upright into a box instead of attaching by hand. Attach the tips by inserting the pipetter into the tips and pressing down on the collar for the MLA pipetter. For the micropipette, insert the pipetter into the tips and press down. Plastic tip boxes come pre-filled with tips, and a common practice is to manually refill boxes from bags of tips. When refilling tip boxes, be sure to wear new disposable gloves. Please be aware that different pipetter brands may require different tips. For instance, the 500 microliter MLA pipetter uses a different tip than the Micropipette 500 microliter pipetter. After attaching tips, pull the pipetter out and snug the tip by pushing the upper part of each tip onto each pipetter nozzle by hand. If a tip is loose, re-snug the tip or discard and attach a new tip. If a tip can't be snugged, the pipetter may need to be cleaned or repaired. Using the pipetter. Fully depress the pipetter plunger and lower the pipetter so that the end of the tip is immersed into the liquid. Slowly release the pipetter plunger all the way, being sure not to pop or suddenly release the plunger. This helps prevent air bubbles from forming in the liquid. Also, be sure not to raise the pipetter until the plunger is fully released and liquid is drawn into the tip. Slightly raise the pipetter so that the filled tip is just above the remaining liquid in the container. This primes the pipetter tip with liquid, which ensures equal volumes of liquid are drawn and dispensed. Next, raise the pipetter with the filled tip and drag the tip against the side of the vessel to remove any liquid that may have stuck to the outside of the tip. This is known as dragging the tip. Check the fluid in the tip for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. 
If you see any air bubbles, dispense and redraw the liquid following the same procedure, or discard the liquid and attach a new tip. If a tip is leaking, discard and begin again. If the liquid in the tip is not at a proper height, dispense the liquid back into the vessel, re-snug or discard the tip, attach a new one and redraw. Bring the pipetter with filled tip to the receiving well or cup and place the tip against the inside wall of the vessel as close to the bottom or as close to any existing liquid in the vessel as possible. Slowly depress the plunger. While holding the plunger fully depressed, slowly raise the pipetter while keeping the point of the tip against the inside wall of the well or cup. This is known as dragging the tip after dispensing. Once the tip is outside of the receiving well or cup, release the plunger. If you're using an MLA pipetter, eject the tip. If you're using a micro pipette, pull off the tip by hand. Calibrating pipetters. Neogen recommends calibrating your pipetters once a year. New pipetters come with calibration certificates that are good for one year from the date of first use. Pipetters can also be checked for calibration by following the steps mentioned before for pipetting. Checking calibration is also a good way to practice pipetting. To check calibration, pipette 10 tips of distilled water into a sample cup that is zeroed out on a scale. The final weight of 10 tips from a 100 microliter pipetter should be between 0.97 and 1.03 grams. If the weight is outside of this range, the pipetter should be sent in for calibration. Neogen offers calibration services as well as all of the products used in this video. Please contact your Neogen representative to learn more. Neogen is available and ready to help with additional support or products. If you have questions, please contact Neogen.